M0FXB Yesu FTX1 and RT systems. I'm going to show you how to set up APRS in seconds and you can see mine working great there. It literally took me one minute to put the settings in. So once you've opened the software, now you can buy RT systems for about, in England, it's about 18, 19 pounds. I'll put the discount code in the description highly recommend it and of course there's there isn't a yesu one available yet but you'll find out that the backup from rt systems is amazing and once you've used it a few times um you can copy and paste from one radio to a different radio so let's have a quick look at my setting so read from the radio uh in the normal way you do need to locate your com port but rt systems pretty much does it for you so up here communications then go to com port setup You'll see this small window and you'll see if you look here when I drop down it's there and you can also access your device manager here rather than having to go the usual way so it's very easy and once you click OK you've connected then you want to read from the radio so I'm going to go communication and get data from radio and then just click OK hopefully your board rate is correct already and you won't have to go in and change that so let's go to my settings tab at the top here it says settings so we're going to go click once then click radio menu settings this window will open move this out of the way so you can just see everything but we've got live there with you know aprs the modems turned on and we've done this using the software so all you do is at the top here, the first thing I would do, now the first one says display settings. I'd get your call signing because you might as well while you're here. And I've turned off down here, you'll see that I've turned all the screen savers off. Just so that, you know, it doesn't uh, keep turning off. So they're all off. I haven't changed much. I did add averaging. I put averaging at four so that when I'm on HF, the the sort of spectrum -y scope isn't too fast. Although it's fine, but I did it anyway. Then go over to APRS and just copy what I have done here and you're going to be up and running in no time let me just find my settings just here I've got my call sign m0fxb-5 I haven't changed any of the settings here but I do, you do have to turn on your modem so if you scroll down look, click the down arrow and instead of off I've select sub Ming meaning the left hand side and I've left the modem as 9600 just here I, where it says icon I just put house okay didn't change anything here apart from wide I chose wide one and wide two all this is default I did put in a message text here I dropped down text number one and that you can see it and I put in to show the frequency and Hamtech M0FXB and that's it I put that in and when you close this window apply the settings then I went communication send data to radio it does make you reboot the radio at the end and then it all started working let's let's just see it working now you do need to set a channel and I'll show you here for 144800 so you just type go into VFO mode. It says VFO here. Usual thing. Type one four four eight hundred and then enter. And I've got it on. So I'm pretty sure FM narrow. I've set mine at. Now there it is working there. Now if you want to go back to save it as a memory. Just hold down the VM button at the top. That's the second button in. Just hold it down. Turn to the function knob so that the red one is highlighted. And we've got number six there. Press and hold. It's in. If you want to name it, just tap name and just put APRS. You don't have to actually have a memory channel, okay? Now, so we've got two in there now. And then just back out. That just means that when you want APRS you can just press your memory button and you're there now you can connect your GPS antenna or you can put in a manual a manual location if you if you're not if you've not got the GPS antenna I'll just quickly show you now if you hop press and hold the F menu 
like so and then go to page number yeah three there and tap uh, APRS list you'll see that all the stations that have been coming in you can actually reply to them let's just tap one anyway um, can we scroll through message hi uh, unread message edit it says here reply let's try it I haven't done one yet um, do we have to tap here yes. I am trying to type a message and I am tapping it tap insert uh, no I'm not getting a you know a keyboard pop up at the moment it could just be me needing to learn. But anyway, that's as far as I've got with message reply. Let's have a look at GPS settings. So we'll go settings, radio menu. Now my GPS module isn't in there yet, but go across to operation tab here. See that you've got tabs. Go across to that. Move this down again and on the right here it says option and we're going to put in gps enable i have plugged in my gps antenna but you could enable bluetooth as you can see uh, my module's in the cupboard over there so i'm not going to put that in now lots of other settings you can set here your power remember you can't actually set the power to individual memory channels you can set it to the to the whole band here uh, but when you change the power on your radio it changes the power on where whatever whatever you've got selected will go to that power so it doesn't it as far as i can see it doesn't actually remember in a memory channel what your power setting was when you created the memory channel correct me if i'm wrong so lots more settings here so let's just quickly um apply and then send that to the radio uh send to radio and that should turn on our gps So I'm interested because it always tells you at the end of reading, sorry, writing to the radio, it tells you to reboot. I'm just going to see if it turns on my GPS without rebooting. <laughs> so you're going to see this live. Uh, so the GPS will appear just at the top here. You can look at the GPS signal once you've got a lock uh, in the APRS window. Let's just see what it does. Of course, adding memory channels is really straightforward. You just type in the receive and transmit, select your tone and put your name in and send it to the radio. It's that simple, whether it's simplex. And yes, C4FM, HF bands, APRS, GPS, Bluetooth, you know, dual band. We've got to change it to single screen like we've got here. Yeah, you just press the DISP. And that changes the view. And look, if you see, look, the GPS is flashing. So although it does tell you, I'm just pressing that display button. Although it does, you know, RT Systems clearly tells you to, it says, yeah, the F, turn the FTX off and then back on to complete the process. I find that it is actually updating things without having to do that. Um, so maybe it's like a, just to make sure. And to test that we'll add a memory channel so what we'll do number six here has no memory channel so we're going to put in uh 430.925 which is gb3fi uh we do need to get the shift in there which is uh for, uh let me think now I'll just go here so plus shift yeah let's put that in there slightly wrong but the shift should be seven six that's better there's your shift and then the name GB3FI. Uh, we don't need tone, so we can turn that off. Just drop it down. Where's tone? Oh, it's off anyway. Look, none. Operating mode FM for now. Name. We've got the name. So let's just go communication center radio and let's see if it ad adds, adds a. Um, Hopefully you saw that. Yeah, you did see that. Let's see if it adds memory number six. So we just let that load up. Not fast, fast. Could be my cable. I've only got a cheap budget USB-C cable and it doesn't need to have a built-in chip. It's just USB-C. Uh, obviously better quality with a couple of ferrite rings. Stop that data that's transferring back and forth to the computer from being corrupted.
Right, so it's rebooted. Well, I didn't. Re I didn't reboot it. <laughs> go into memory mode, and let's go to with the big knob. Oh, memory. Go to number six. See, it's there. There it is. GB3FI, and that's without me needing to reboot. But I'm sure there's a reason they've done that, and I'll send this video to RT Systems just uh see what they think and it, you see it there it says turn the ftx off then back on to complete the process uh, so i'm not needing to do that as you can see and you saw in my other video that if you want to bring in lots of repeaters just go file external data repeater book we bring that here put in your location i've done this before as i said and uh, let's do a few more miles let's do 25 and we'll include six meter as well and we'll click OK and it creates this file here okay lots of new things that we can use and there's still customization at the bottom you've got city there as you can see you can select and unselect you can even select bands or deselect bands so if I go select or and I'm going to right click copy and there's a whole if you look here edit there's lots of selections there as well go back to the original tab click just underneath and then right click and go paste and that's going to add all those channels now to our radio and then we don't need the second tab anymore and then we're going to go communicate send data to radio and I'm going to click OK and it's going to do its thing So again, I haven't rebooted now, and I'm not saying don't reboot, I'm just saying I haven't. And we're looking here, we're on in memory channel. Let's see if we can find all those new channels that we just put in there. Just scrolling through. It goes to ooh, five megahertz. I'm not sure why. I've, I think I've selected something there. Right, anyway, I'll keep tinkering. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.